Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre, with the backing of legislators on the government side of the lower house of parliament, wrote a new and historic chapter in St. Lucia's post-independence history. What has been a 22-year pursuit to attain regional jurisprudence that began in 2001 came full circle on February 28, 2023, when the proposed Constitution Amendment Bill became due for a second reading in the House of Assembly. The bill would cause St. Lucia to part ways with Britain's Privy Council and accede to the appellate jurisdiction of the Caribbean Court of Justice, CCJ. Prime Minister Pierre elucidated the House on the benefits of St. Lucia's transition to the CCJ. Mr. Speaker, this is a historic day in the history of the people of St. Lucia, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, it is historic because we as a people are showing that we have confidence in ourselves, that we have confidence in our jurisprudence, and we have confidence in the people of the region, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the CCJ will make justice accessible to the people of St. Lucia. For the last 16 years, only 17 cases from St. Lucia has gone to the People Council. An average of one case per year. And you're talking about justice being accessible? You know why, Mr. Speaker? Because the ordinary St. Lucia cannot afford to go to the Privy Council, Mr. Speaker. It's inconvenient, Mr. Speaker, and it's costly. And the Caribbean Court of Justice, Mr. Speaker, what it has made justice more accessible to the regular and the ordinary person in the country. Former Prime Minister Dr. Honorable Kenny Anthony joined 11 other CARICOM member states and signed the agreement establishing the CCJ in 2001. St. Lucia is now on course to become the fifth CARICOM member state to accede to the appellate jurisdiction of the CCJ. From the office of the Prime Minister, Rihani Isidore.